Hello, we are still. We're live on. Okay, so you put the chat. Okay, right. Right, I'm gonna. And then the thing is, Rob, I just I trust the button. You know, I click go live. I'm like, yeah, I'm live. Oh, we'll if there's the a problem, Send. someone will say, right? Yeah. That's just usually yeah. how it goes. But if you're not live, how can they say there's a problem? True. What have I done well, wrong? Or you can go live by accident. Stan, welcome to Tavern Podcast. Oh. Where Stan has a lot of trust in me. What's up, mate? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You went to the wrong one, didn't you? Yeah. You went to the Salt Raiders, Glenn. That's exactly what I did. It's dead in here, Glenn. Oh, we've got one person. We've got Fira Blitz. I always pronounce that guy's name wrong. Hey, Fira. Fira? That's not his name. Is it? Well, look, at this, look, I wouldn't be surprised if apparently I've been saying it wrong. Cause okay. Because my chat have done that before to me. Where they've let me pronounce a name wrong for months, and then they finally go, oh, yeah, no, it's this. And they're all in on it. Rob, mate, honestly, that liquid there. I tried it. I it's class. It's alright. I don't like sparkling water. So the mango one's oh. really bad, but the uh, the lime one's good. The sparkling one's good. But in America, they got like a ton of flavors. Well, she took them up and tell us to give us um. Give I know. Us more no, I mean, I got I got FK. They'd be like, give me those American flavors. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did with G Fuel. I was like, G Fuel, just give me the cans. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I don't want the powder shit, like. Um, welcome to the podcast. I've now got an announcement that I am now leaving the Salt Raiders today. I got caught sniffing Glenn's underwear last night after he left. Um, he left in his room, and I'm now here to announce that I am I officially leave leaving in my room? the Salt Raiders today. I was trying to do April Fools, Glenn. Do you know what, mate? You just ruined it for me. But like, why would I leave underwear in my office? Who knows, mate? You just ruined it. You've ruined my intro, mate. Fuck you, friend. <laughs> you prick. It's just weird, isn't it? <laughs> Did you even think of doing an April Fool's joke or did you just say that because you just read the chat? Uh, I, I just thought I'd do the April Fool's joke. I but fucking hate April Fool's. I get so excited for things and then it's, it's, uh, I realise it's wrong and I fall for it every year. Oh, the, that's the what you should have done. What? Like the best April Fool's announcements that would have been good if they actually happened. I'm, I can't think of any off the top, mate. I'm going to have a look. I know. There's been, there's I been know. so many April Fool's. I'm like, that is genuinely a good idea for your game. And then they don't do it. And then it's it. just an April Fool's. And you had like, it with Valorant. Yeah, that, that Cypher game mode is fucking, it looked class. Yes. Here's what it is. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll start with the easiest conspiracy theory is that does Glenn actually exist in World of Warcraft? There's been rumours that he's been leveling to 40, right? But there's been ghosts going around about conspiracy theories about people using it and leveling it's for really him. It's weird because like, you, you type to Glenn on, on WoW and it, it's just, the person types back seems completely different. Hey, Glenn, how, how did your level experience go? You've got to debunk these conspiracy theories. Yeah, how was your experience leveling the 40, Glenn? It's hard work, like. What was, yeah. the hardest ra- what was the hardest dungeon you would have said? I just quested. Quested where, mate? What was the specific zones you quest? Because I, I found the lines quite a hard one to do because you're going all over the place, but that nah. final zone, mate, what did you think of that final... What was the final zone you did in again? Did it all in STV. Grind. What, STV? That's a bit weird for a level 40, isn't it? No, it's not actually. Yeah, it's a and bit, if you think that the conspiracy bit, theory should be about you, bit, so what was name a few quests you did in STV for his like? It's killing the tigers, killing the raptors, killing the cats. That's the horde part. Maybe talk about. It. No, it's not. The line says different. Rob, Rob, no, you not. you do the Hemet Singwari stuff. Before. Shut up, yeah. no, Stan, mate. You're really bad at this. <laughs> 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 what dungeon did you do? Yeah, what the, dungeon were you in the other day when I was talking to you, man? SM, like. What one? Which one? Library. Got you. <laughs> got you. He's got. He's on it. He is on it. Glenn, you and all my hair is all over the place. Like, I can see tight so well when we were talking the other day, Glenn. Mm, just you know, read back my messages. You know, mate. Normally you're like full of spelling errors and stuff. Well, he yeah, was, he was in the library, wasn't he? So he exactly. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, it up. those it learning up. books helped him out, did it, Stanley? Those learning books help. Uh, yeah. Learning books. <laughs> learning <laughs> books, mate. Yeah. Glenn, would you bot wow? No. Glenn, Glenn, would you would you bot wow? Would you bot wow? Hang on. Oh. Okay. Go to Rob. Go to Rob. Have you ever bought it in WoW? Yeah, back in Cataclysm, <laughs> I used to have something called WoW. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to like, use it for You're the You're the wrong person, farm, like. like. But Glenn, have you bought it WoW? No. Haven't. He's such a pussy like, honestly. He's got SR underscore big pussy like. Glenn, have you ever bought it a game? No. What about RuneScape? <laughs> what about RuneScape? You've never bought it RuneScape? No. Everybody bought RuneScape and I don't even play it, like. Mate, he fucking, he told me about the boys he had. What boys? Hang on, one sec. Why are you looking at me, bro? <laughs> you were the last person to talk. <laughs> He's going to write a note, I bet you're going, fucking shit. <laughs> oh, I can't. 
<laughs> talking about them typos. <laughs> Yes, this is all an April Fool's intro, by the way. We're, we're all take the piss out of Glenn. He doesn't bot. He doesn't do anything like that, you know. How did you bot him out? What did you do? One sec. Honor Buddy, it was called back in the day. Oh. It used to be... <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell me later. I can't read okay. it. Uh, <laughs> Glenn is a good boy, Kate. That is a lie, and you know it. Welcome across. Like, how does it work? Mate, you literally just load a profile. You, people made profiles and it would do like ideal le leveling and it would literally do the quest, hand them in, sell your stuff and just go and go on flight paths and all. That was fucking good, like. Okay, no, I got um, I got rested XP, the, mm. the add-on. And like you walk up, you, you right-click the NPC and I'll hand in the quest mm. and accept the next one. I'm like, I'm like fuck it out, I'm buying. Basically. <laughs> I don't get banned now. Finally, it's a legit add on now. Rest of the XP. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite surprised though, because. You still have pay for I'm it. I'm surprised, yeah, but Blizzard don't. You still do. Yeah, you're not allowed to sell add ons here. That's what I mean. I'm surprised Blizzard don't kick off about it, because they must make a fuck ton of money. Like every single WoW YouTuber at the start of their video spams, you know, you, here's my code for Rest of the XP. But. Oh, all right, they're doing the. Because uh, they get affiliate, the affiliate, affiliate shit, is right? it? Okay. Yeah. Stevie, you heard that Dale is leveling quite well. That's quite that's quite something, isn't it? Like Dale leveling quite fast as well. Is he in uh, Scarlet Library as well? Is he? I did. I did see him heading over to that area when I was on earlier. Man, wow, that's, wow, that's crazy. Wow, that is these people are leveling up so God, fast. Yeah, like. all the all these people are leveling so fast. They don't go to Scarlet Library. It's shocking, man. It's weird how like you know they either don't answer or the mm. way they type is completely different. I had an amazing experience. Like I got people sending me gold. Like it was great. Do you know what I mean? I got like two friends to go from a guy called Toothpaste. I um I logged on to WoW, made the rogue. Immediately, someone from the guild came up to me, give me uh, 15 gold. What? Uh, yeah, so they gave me 15 gold, uh, kitted me out with all the bags. And then uh, uh, Josh was like, oh, mate, I'm going to kit you out now. He's like, I, like how, he's like, I can treat you well. Comes over, gives me the exact same bags, but only gives me 5G. <laughs> <laughs> And then Evs was like, I didn't get anything. <laughs> right. I gave all my money to Josh, right? And then, like, two days later, Kaif was like, oh, Josh gave me gold. So I'm thinking, oh, 50, 100 gold. And when he said five, I was like, oh, oh me. He's done, he didn't He's see that. Such a tight bastard, isn't he? <laughs> How much did you give him? 300? Yeah. Fucking, you give him 300. He's like, yeah, look at me. Treat my boy right. Yes, 5G. Right, uh, boys. We so what are we actually doing? Conspiracy we're talking theories. About, we're talking about conspiracy theory, Glenn. Okay, aren't you like a bit of a nut with us? Like no, you're really I'm, into I'm, not, I'm not a nut, mate. I think some of them are class to read. Like, it's a good, it's a good story to read, right? Okay. So, we go to the group camera stand, right? I've actually got pictures ready for us, Glenn. Are you watching this? Like, where is it? Can they cover my face? Me no, I've tried to put them all in the middle. Have you ever heard of the chem trail? I feared of it, but it's I fucking couldn't, stupid. couldn't tell you what it is. On. I see them in the sky, oh. but what do you mean? No, that, like, yeah. So I'm, I've got these from wikis and stuff, right? The word chemtrail has trended on sunny mornings this summer, but what's the truth behind the conspiracy theory? Look up at a clear blue sky and you might see puffy white trails behind aeroplanes. They're made up of mostly of water, are called co contrails or vapour trails, but a growing number of people falsely believe they're on evidence of something, sim si something sinister going on. Something malign forces are spraying the population with dangerous chemicals, so-called chemtrails, for purposes that are neither entirely clear nor consistent. A surging conspiratorial thinking following the COVID pandemic, along with the summer travel season in clear skies, means that once obscure chemtrail theory is now being promoted by major influencers. What are contrails? It goes into it, right? But basically, people thinking these planes are flying around, right? Mm. spraying chemicals in the air to affect us and gave us stuff like COVID. It's fucking crazy, innit? It's like, it's the byproduct of fuel burning and it releases water vapour, right? Mm. Yep. And they're like, oh yeah, they're dropping chemtrails in the sky. They don't know why. Like, you know, you know if you're going to have a conspiracy theory, you should have at least like a hypothesis. Yep. Like they're dropping chemicals to make the frogs gay or something, you know? But to be like, no, we don't know why they're doing it, but we know they're doing it. We're onto them. It's like, a stupid conspiracy theory. You gotta have a, 
conclusion to draw from. And yeah. Nothing. It's that's dumb. I was like, I don't know. Some conspiracies does, I can get behind, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting the way you're thinking. Like, but this is just like, we, we they're there. Look, look at the nine eleven one, right? They say George Bush did nine eleven. Mm. So they got the conspiracy theory, and then you have to be like, okay, so why did he do it? And they wanted a reason to invade, yep. right? The same with the, uh, oh, they got chemical weapons as a reason to invade. But then this chemtrails is like, yeah, we don't know why they're doing it. It's just, you know, we know they are. Well, according to, according to some of the, the BBC where I got this article from, says like many persistent conspiracies, the chemtrail idea comes with a kernel of truth. In the 1950s and 60s, decades before the conspiracy theories were born, much of Britain was sprayed with airborne chemicals in a series of secret germ warfare tests. And in 1950, San Francisco was sprayed with a chemical agent from a ship to gauge the effects of a bioweapon attack on a populated area. So there was, they did biochemical tests on people back in the 50s and 60s. That's and that, uh, But they know, know they're like effect, really effective anyway, right? Yeah. I mean, if, if a country wanted to, I mean, they're banned, but the, the, they've had chemical weapons for ages. The wildest one that I've seen the chemicals want to do with that was, remember 2012 and all that, right? They, some people firmly believe that they put these chemtrails out in the sky to obscure our vision of the night, the sky above, so we don't see, maybe the whole conspiracy of planet Nibiru coming in and or like planet X going to hit Earth and all that. People hmm. were at this point telling you, oh, they're chemtrailing it so you can't see above the sky or like what they're actually seeing like they're what are they trying to hide from you though exactly this is it they're trying to hide like a, a planet or something or some kind of celestial event that's happened they don't want people to know about i mean if there's a planet coming to hit it it's not a lot you can do about it is it <laughs> i mean that's true glenn yeah jesus christ so i mean i mean we all have diesel fumes anyway there's plenty of evidence to say how oh, fuck they are for you like i don't know but I mean, I mean, it's not, it's not, the thing is, right, that can spit with the chemtrails thing, we can sit and say it's nuts, right? But wasn't there a thing where the, the FBI or the CIA or something in America did basically put drugs in people and like did horrific experiments to people and all that? Like, with, yeah. so I always think maybe there's a shred like, of truth that yeah, you can't trust the government, can you? Like, come on, com commercial flights, mm -hmm. like consistently dropping chemicals. Like the problem is, is that, with conspiracy conspiracy theories, there's also a theory of like how long it takes for something to get whistleblown. I can't remember the name of the theory, but it's it's like a low number. Like the moment more than like thirty odd people know, it is inevitable that it'll get whistleblowed. So for like commercial airlines to all be spraying us for chemicals, that is a lot of people who know. Yeah. Like it just get whistleblowed and it hasn't. I mean, there's somebody's put in the chat there. I remember they made a gay gun. They did make it. They tried to make a gay gun, didn't they? They did, yes. Like gaydar and all this. Like how, that how did the gay gun go? It didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. It, as far as we're aware, it didn't work. Well, hopefully, you know. It's what almost mean? like you can't make people gay. And it's, uh, you know, you kind of. I seen. Do you know the, ball now, eh? Jim, when you're flying through TikTok, right, and you get um, and you get people with some wacky ass conspiracy theories. <laughs> there was one where it was like. It was a thing from the 1950s, 60s, and there's this guy sitting in a chair, and the, the presenter like goes, this man is gay, so we're going to take the proper precautions, and he's like staying away from us. I don't want to catch being gay from you, right? And he's asking this guy who's gay all these questions, but why do you think it? It's a disease. What are you doing, right? But this was that. This isn't even a joke. This seemingly happened where they felt you could catch being gay. The thing is, right, if you believe that you can catch being gay, you might be gay. <laughs> You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, if you if you can so easily be uh, tricked into being gay, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> the dick's in my mouth. I'm not gay. I was tricked into it. it continues to suck the dick. <laughs> so I'm a mean Glenn, didn't it, Glenn? For a conspiracy theory, mate. That's how you turn gay. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> I love how you just go ahead, mate. You know what I mean? It's like the people who say being gay is a choice. It's like, all right, well... Prove it then. Suck a dick. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do you reckon, right, a lot of these people that hate, like, gay people, right, I can guarantee one thing, right, and don't say it because of me, right, but because I, I don't give a shit, right, but do these people that are probably anti-gay probably get pegged off their wife 
and get dominated by their wife. So they're probably taking some kind of like basic plastic dick up their ass, right? A lot of people that hate like trans people also are the ones that fetishize trans people. Yeah. That, that that's the weirdest thing to me. That's that that that's why I, I feel sorry for a lot of trans people going to relationships, right? Because if you talk to a few trans people in my community, they their biggest worry is people fetishizing them and that's it. They're just they they're always gonna get used for being that fetish for somebody, if you know what I mean? But it's wild that the amount of people that are like really homophobic that'll go with somebody that's trans. If you're not, it's really, it's really weird to me. Like, not that there's an issue with it, just why hold that in yourself, you know? Seems weird. Yeah. I guess people are just, uh, that's that, I mean, that's the thing in there. Like, they're so afraid to admit that that's why, where like the hatred comes from. Like, the more, the more they're ashamed of it, the more they, jump to the opposite side of the spectrum of like hatred stan you'll be going 50 percent gay when you're in my bathtub soon mate what do you what do you mean by that you see <laughs> yeah what do you mean by that? what does he mean by that you'll be going 50 percent gay like you'll be sharing a bath with me like, yeah? I, d I don't think sharing a bath with someone dictates their oh it's not about just sharing the bath mate it's about what we're going to be doing in the bath mate you're gonna peg rob i am yeah, you're going to put on a strap on and you're going to peg him. Yeah. Okay. Your name will be Sandra for that stream for me. I mean, I feel like I feel like I should get paid for that, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for the money. Like, oh, Stan, mate, never change. Never Stan, never. pay me and I'll do it. Dirty slut. <laughs> well, you want me to do it for free? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's what most men do. So is, was the chemtrails one that was like really popular during COVID? Yeah, but, oh. but particularly during like 2012, I think it was when the, that's a long time before. No, COVID. but then like they got it always goes around to some kind of agenda where chemtrails come into. It's either oh, okay, okay. it's like us the Russians putting it on to people, or we're trying to like do this, or we're trying to affect other people, or like they're trying to cover things in the sky to the the COVID pandemic because it did do something in China where they were doing stuff in the sky, didn't they? But they admitted what they were doing; they were like spraying disinfectant, weren't they? In China, at some points in the sky, but they were they, the government told the people that were doing it, right? You know, dropping disinfectant just to clean all the surfaces. Mm. Some like, it was something weird. They were spraying something in there in China. <laughs> they 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 told people what they were doing. This Monthly clean. Well. <laughs> Tell you, I'm, I'm going to go into one that's my personal favorite. I think we touched in the last conspiracy theory, but I need to bring it up again, okay. like Glenn, because I want to see what people think of this. Because I love this. This is pure fantasy to me, right? Okay. And it's called Beyond the Ice Wall, Glenn. Beyond oh the God. I love it. I do, love it. That, that's partially to do a flat earth, right? Flat earth. Yeah. But I oh, love okay, this, okay. right? It, where is it? Where is it? I've got it here. Right. Did I, I put don't it feel like I know much about any of these. So that you need to, ex I just don't you know need I to explain say. the base thing, though. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to insert an image stand, right? Okay, Which but you've never done. I don't know if we have an image. So, basically, they say, if I bring the image up, right? Um, it's going to be horribly disized. Is that right. the, that's the whole map thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I love it. I love it. Right. I, I love it as pure fantasy, right? You might not be able to see this well for us, right? But streamers might be able to see it, right? But I'm going to put it up less. But basically, this ice wall here, right? Streams you, not gonna, streams not I know gonna they see can't the mouse, see that. The inner ice wall circle you see at the start, right? I'm just doing this for you guys, that, that's right? That's how far we've ever been, right? Yeah, that's how far we've ever been. So this is all the continents and stuff like this, right? Then you go outside this ice wall and you've got places like um, Atlantis, whatever, right? Oh, fucking got, Midgard's yeah. there as well, right? So you go, you got like, yeah, you've got like um, Asgard and stuff like that, right? And all these other places, Scorchlands and stuff like that, right? I fucking love it. I, I, I love the pure fantasy Mate, of this. I, li like. I like the idea of it, right? If it was real, it'd be really cool. Yeah. Because there's something still like unexplored that doesn't require space travel or uh, multiple pressures of underwater. Mm. But... That's fucking nuts. It is a bit nuts. <laughs> yeah. So go back, go back to the start. Nuts. Yeah. So what is this conspiracy? That the Earth's flat and there's more to the way? The Flat Earth Society primarily concerns itself with the known Earth. The area which the light from the sun affects. Along the edge of our local area exists a massive 150 foot ice wall. The 150 foot ice wall is on the coast of Antarctica. The ice wall is a massive wall of ice that surrounds Antarctica. The shelf of ice is 700 metres thick. That's nearly vertical ice uh, in front of the open sea and it's more than 50 metres high above. 150 foot. 150 foot, yeah. It's not that high. Oh, that's what they're saying. Yeah, I didn't think it was that high either. You know, it's quite big. 150 foot is still big, mate. 
I was like, but I, I, there was also, if you go back to the group camera stand, I think I also, I've also had another image. I don't know why I never put these ones well. in. Right? I reckon That's like, not that many stories, is it? Somebody should say, look, I'm going to go explore the ice wall, right? And they go radio silent for three months. And then when they come back, AI images of this ice wall mm. really fuck, like really fuck with people. That's the, that is what the ice wall looks like. <laughs> And people say, once you get beyond that ice wall, right? Yeah, you're ice wall looks die, yeah. tiny as hell. So, yeah. yeah. So that goes, seemingly, that's, if you bring this map back up, Well, we, we can't get past that, can we? Yeah. So seemingly, they have been past it, but they told... They, so a lot of wacky things, like if you go past it, planes yeah. get shot down, they tell the humans they're not there, they're met, that they stay there, their own bit and stuff. That's like where that. the Titans are, Stan. That's yeah. where the Titans are. You know, that's where the reptilians are. Mate, it's not even, it's not even a wall that's elevated land. Hmm. That's fucking nuts. But uh, has it's you, because you the, the whole the like whole, this isn't the, a conspiracy theory. This is just fantasy. Right? No, yeah, but then people like so people have taken <laughs> like logs of certain captains that go there saying, "Oh, we flew above it and we've seen something." Or there's always some type of story they try and link it back to. It's got not factual evidence, but it's to do with something they were exploring. If you know what I mean, like certain parts of the world, right? They'll look at maps and then at 1600 go, well, they explored this in the 1600s and said there was something beyond it, like Atlantis. But they're taking like unfactual things, you know, from those times and trying to make a conspiracy theory How of it. How dare they take the mysticism of Atlantis and say, nah, it's not a sunken city, it's past the ice. But what I will How dare they change that? What I will say though, right? But what I will say is, I love reading it. It's great fantasy. Oh, because no, it's definitely imagine fantasy. that. But being that's a, what it is. If yeah. you, like, I bring this up again, right? If you bring that up, that'd be an amazing MMO map for every expansion, right? Wouldn't it? Oh, we're leaving the ice wall part oh, one. Man, could you imagine World of Warcraft did that? Oh, you, you see Azeroth, <sighs> Kalimdor, uh, was it Northrend, yeah. Pandaria? There was and they're that. like, boys, we're I just don't. Past the wall. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no that, right. There's a the, theory the, of that. The, the, the thing is, that. like, yeah. the, back, the back side of the planet we just haven't gone to. For whatever reason, but the the front just keeps getting slightly bigger. Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdom have been slowly separating because they've been putting more stuff in the middle. Well, that, no, that's the thing that if you go, I'm sorry to bring Warcraft into this, but the world of the Warcraft one is that they're, 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 we've not explored the back of the planet, right? It, yeah, every globe that you see, like the ones there's in, nothing behind uh, it. Old War and and stuff so like that. I feel just, like you just skipped the conspiracy yeah. part of this, and you just. Well, it's, what they're trying to say, what the fantasy, conspiracy right? says, the government are hiding this from us. The seemingly the government and well, all, all the government. Yeah, this it makes conspiracy theories. Okay. Look at me, all you want is I'm an idiot, right? I'm just trying to say these are quite pop. That that ice, that ice was a massive one. There's even like like due AI generation now is coming into a massive thing. I've seen one where oh, if you take a ship close to the ice wall, Levi, there's a Leviathan, and somebody's like done an AI video of like a Leviathan coming at the water to stop a ship getting close and all that. Well, even though you get cruise ships that go down. There's there. already lots of proof, right, that the Earth is round. Hmm. So how does that map fit with like? It, I mean, it's flat air flows, isn't it? Around it's, they they say that it's all it's all fake, it's all lies. Ah, uh, okay. Mate, if you had someone go I worked with a flat earther. If you had someone go and go like I go like I'll go to Antarctica, I'll go do it, and then he comes back and he says, "Now nah, it's it's I'm fine." You probably get ostracized. I'm gonna try and convince that. myself one day. I'm gonna sit down and see what it takes to convince yourself that the Earth's flat. I see if it's possible. Like, it's just, too, why it's just too. It's just too absurd to believe. You know? This honestly, this is more dumb than the chemtrails. Oh yeah, yeah, mate. This is where you take conspiracy theories a pinch of salt, right? <laughs> I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is move on from the ice wall because I, I, like I said, <laughs> to me, it's pure fantasy. I love it's it. Really just... If somebody wrote a story and made a game on it, right? If somebody <laughs> said, "Oh, baby, we're doing like a, a co-op game where you boys explore the the world and you go around the map and it go by on the ice wall and like visit Asgard," do you try to tell me that wouldn't sound like a good game to you? It's not like a fucking bang. Yeah, game. but it's like we've, me, we've already done a Rob. But it's Valheim. like it's, it's like me true, being yeah. like, um, oh, let's uh, let's do conspiracy theories, and I'm like, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like that's how this feels to me. It's like you're trying to tell mate, me that Lord of the Rings Glenn, is they conspiracy believe theory. It. They, they believe it. Listen, I know, Flat I know, Earth is a nut, mate. mate. I'm telling you, right? I know you think this this is a massive conspiracy theory in the world at the moment. This is people truly believe they are flat and we're a nice wall, and the sun just rotates round out that the this disc. But I'm, I'm saying that moment is that ice wall's a massive. You tape it on TikTok and there's about a million videos on it. Like I'm assuming they got a theory for how gravity works. There is a, there is some kind of form. I, I I've seen like stuff. But I, I bet their answer is like it's flat. You go down. Yeah. <laughs> 
when you're that like when you're that deep in the hole, there's, uh, there's nothing. What there's I don't understand about flat so earth like, is like uh, you get to the edge of the earth and the water falls off, so the water would drain. Well, that's well, that, that's where the ice wall comes in. It's mm. contained. Ah, oh, see, see, but you go under the ice fall. They already said it only goes fifty feet deep. This flat earth I worked with a long time ago is like if the world is a globe, then like how's the water not fall off? How like how is Australia at the bottom of the planet? Like people just fall off. Gravity. And I'm like, it's gravity, mate. He's like, what? And it's all going like from the top in and then from the bottom in. And I'm like, yes, because its mass is so big, it has gravity. He's like, stupid, mate. Earth's flat. Mate, I seen somebody <laughs> when I was researching this, right? And they put an orange under a tap. Well, water doesn't stick to an orange when I'm spinning it. I'm like, you're not spinning it fast enough. There's no gravity like on that part, like the way it works with Earth, right? There's loads of different theories on this, but like it's, it's not even like it's not it's not spinning. It's the mass is so big, it has a gravitational mm. pull. Mm. That's literally it. Zamrock, can I just sit and say that the moon is made of cheese, not the earth, mate? You got it wrong. The moon is cheese, mate. There is no Wallace and Gromit proved that, right? What? Yeah, right, Glenn. Right, Glenn. I'm gonna put. A, I've gonna put a bit of a lighter conspiracy feed on for you, Glenn, mate. Okay. I hope this is all right to do, but this works. Like, tell me if you can hear us in chat. This is a conspiracy theory. I will 100% believe it. So, in 2020, the reason the government put us into a lockdown is so they could change the batteries and pictures. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> 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 Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? No, he makes a good point. What does a baby pigeon look like? So I know the old double echo come through our microphones, right? But I wanted to try something different, put that TikTok in. I thought it was quite funny. But this there's a conspiracy theory that pigeons are robots. I mean, the, the, the birds are robots, as we've known. I've literally seen dead pigeons. I've seen roadkill pigeons, like... They they're look not, pretty not real smart. to me. They're not smart animals. No, they see a not, car and they go, I'm going to go oh. in there. <laughs> it was just, I seen this when I was scrolling it and I, I, I was like, I have to pitch it in, right? It's just a bit where he goes, have you seen a baby pigeon? I'm just sitting there like, no, I've not actually seen a baby pigeon. I've seen other baby birds, but I've never seen a baby pigeon. Like, what do, I need to take this in Google. What does a baby pigeon look like? Yeah, I can't say I've seen a baby pigeon. I've seen a lot of baby birds. Same. <laughs> what? I still think this one is more believable than the ice one. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Mystery solved. Why you never see a baby pigeon? Oh, they're ugly, mate. All right. All right. We're going to get some more info here. Hold on. I'm verifying I'm a human. I see. I see. And I'm not a, you know, a robot pigeon. There is something interesting about um, <laughs> other animals. I forget which sea life it is. I think it might be eels. For the longest time, we had never seen like where where eels came from like mm. where, where they birth and whatnot i don't even, i don't remember if we did figure it out sea life is incredibly weird but they like they go to a specific place birth and then they just come back and okay. we didn't know where that was the reason you've never seen a baby pigeon is because they are fucking ugly and look nothing like pigeons holy shit yep. yeah. dear lord so basically pigeons mate for life uh they look after the baby in the nest once the baby leaves the nest he starts his own life, uh, looks just like a fucking pigeon, and then it will mate for life and have his own baby pigeon. Oh, the baby pigeon. So what? What's the less? Okay, we believe this, right? right? What are they using the pigeons for? Cameras. Spying on people, mate. Okay, but we got phones. They already have pretty good technology. To Glenn, spy. Glenn, I need you to open your mind today, right? I just need <laughs> you to. Like, I am. I'm, mate, I'm trying to like. I, mate, why? You're, you're not opening your mind here. You need to really believe and open, Glenn. Right? Just think. This is just real. Just a, just imagine. I'm trying from to, but I'm saying like, why do they want all these fucking? Oh. Because they think the government's spying on you, mate. But they are. But they don't need pigeons to do it. And the best is theory, mate. They just got to change the batteries. The <laughs> pigeons, like. Mate, they're spying on us, but they can't even do it that well anyway. Like. The, the government is notoriously bad for using the info that has been readily available given to them. Like, Ben, do any of you reject cookies? I bet you fucking don't, do you? I reject my cookies. Yeah, I got they, it. They've, well. gotten, they've gotten slightly better at it now. now. Now for a lot of sites, you've got option of reject all instead of having to go through it yourself. Yeah, it is getting easier to reject them, but a lot of people just go, eh, fucking confirm, <laughs> and then uh, boom. That has access the, to whatever the, thing, the fuck he wants to know about the you. The thing I don't like 
is on phones. I don't know if it's the same for Android. When you load up an app for the first time, it asks about tracking and it yep. is it's allow all or ask not to. Why is it <laughs> ask not to? What it should be no. I do like that about uh because uh, obviously I've had I've never had an iPhone or iPad. I've got an iPad for the first time. It was like, you know, it, as you said, you can ask the app not to track you. But that is funny, though, because they're probably... <laughs> uh, Apple asked them, can you not track them? And the company goes, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to yes. sell that data, boy. <laughs> I've said this before about cookies. Do I hate the cookies? That caught me caught at 15, 16, looking at porn. Because Watchdog does an expose on... The internet was coming and porn has become more accessible to kids like when i was 15 16 i was checking everything and they showed my mum how to they'd put a hang on how to show and my mum went through all the porn sites we we're looking at like so like grounded for like two three weeks because of a fucking watchdog expo on it like how to track what your kids are doing smoked you're, by the bbc yeah you're a fucking dumb kid you didn't know how to delete your cookies but back then no cave honestly when you're 15 or like and this is bear in mind this would be in the 80s like <laughs> uh, mate commercial internet was until the 90s wasn't it I'm trying yeah. to what year it been like nah. 2004 or something like that. No, it'd been less than that, but like 2002. But the watchdog, because at the time, nobody, I didn't know what a cookie was. Like, nobody knew what You were watching porn in 2002. You knew what cookies were like. like yeah, I was like 15 it. in 2002. <laughs> Mate, I discovered porn in like fucking 99, I think. <laughs> Oh no! Before like, that, like you boobs, had, like no, boobs would yeah, slowly yeah, yeah. load onto yeah, your screen. Yeah, yeah, oh, that. But what I'm trying <laughs> to say is, like, but what it was was more videos became accessible then. It's not like what used to like Stan has nowadays. We can go on ixx.com and get every bit of porn that he wants. I've not like, heard what's that it called? One. ixx. Ixxx.com. I've not heard that one. Wait, what? I, what? Ixxx.com. It basically just takes all the sites such as X Hamster. Um, Wait, it's an aggregate of all of them. Yeah, and just so you type in like, oh, I'm gonna look for a bit of fucking Guiana Michaels today. Like you'll search all the websites and bring them I've in. I've never heard it before. Why'd you give me that eye? I think I found a new website, boy. But no. the um, <laughs> oh, you get you get you get you can get anime in there as well. Like, the I'm thing for saying hint, yes or no to cookies is relatively recent. And that, that's an EU law. That is, I don't know if you if it's the same in the US. Yeah, do you guys in the US have to accept cookies? Like, do you actually have to? Because I mean, I'll website, be honest, sometimes it can be annoying. Like every website yeah. you go to, the first thing you have the to do is the like free you call get a pop up for the, the cookie worst page. is when like they haven't implemented the cookie banner correctly. Mm. This happened to me today. Ah, you do. They, okay, okay. The okay. screen, the screen got covered in like a blue overlay because obviously the cookie thing was going to come up, but the cookie thing didn't come up, so the site was completely unusable. Yep. <laughs> That's happened to me a few times, like. Um, so, we all we all agree that, that pigeons are battery powered, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we're gonna go into something. Got some sick batteries. If like, like when were they were charged? Before? Duracell, mate. Wait, you know what I mean, Duracell, Duracell, Duracell goes Bunny longer. Like? You've not seen the Duracell Bunny ad. Yeah, they're not very good. <laughs> what the f what? I mean, Duracells last for ages. Like, mate, Duracell's the best. Not. That many years though, is it? Have you seen the inside of a battery, by the way? Oh, it's just all those little round ones, isn't it? Like <laughs> oh, there's there's also that. Yeah. yeah. But it's like it's just a spun coil, isn't it? Yeah. I was I always thought like my mum always used to go on about battery acid and stuff. So I genuinely thought it was like a little cylinder mm. full of like green juice. But it's not, it's just a fucking spun coil. Unless obviously you're getting scammed and it is the smaller batteries <laughs> stacked up like uh <laughs> uh fucking what do you call them? I don't know what they're called anymore. Pez, kind of? Yeah, like Pez. Like Pez? I, I, had, a, I had a knockoff Pez that were those little circular right, I'm ones. I'm going to believe the next one. I'll be more open-minded. You're probably going to like the next one, Glenn, to be honest with you. Like, it's even more fucking wacky, oh, right? Here we go. Good right. Stan, right? Apologies for that music that better come up there. If you're offended, well, I don't know what to say. We're bringing the Nazis, boys. <laughs> we're bringing in... Two, we've got two theories for the Nazis, I'm not really right? sure what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking right, at Right, so... This is the Glocker, and it is hailed as a German wonder weapon, as okay, they were called. Okay, so someone's right? just said that's from COD Zombies. So. It's not, it's not. This is an actual thing. <laughs> the conspiracy of the Glocker, a perpetrated Nazi-German UFO time machine hybrid, has been around for years. 
No, wait, wait. Time that, machine. Mate, listen, just listen to the Time conspiracy. Machine. Mate, just listen to oh, the conspiracy theory, right? Hell, right? Man, boys. Okay, okay. The Glocka right. was a bell should be four meters mind, high boys. and three meters in diameter yeah. and incorporated two high speed counter rotating cylinders filled with a purplish liquid metallic looking substance that was supposed to be highly radioactive, codenamed Xerom 525. Cook recounted claims that scientists and technicians who worked on the bell and who did not die of its effects were wiped out by the SS at the close of the war and the devices moved to an unknown location. Cook proposed that the SS official Hans Kamler later secretly traded the technology to be uh, to the US military in exchange for his freedom. Um, what, see that see that concrete wing? Whitsikran suggests that a concrete ring you see on there, right, mm -hmm. called the Henge, near uh, the mine built in 1943 or 1944 and vaguely resembling Stonehenge was used to tell the bell during tests. According to writer Jason Calvito, the structure is merely the remains of an ordinary industrial cooling tower. That's what it's meant to be, right? Wait, According on. to legends, the Glocker was one of the wonder weapons that German dictator Adolf Hitler developed in hopes to reverse the tide of World War II. Where any actual proof of the Glocker is a spot of the best, UFO enthusiasts have tried to link the machine to a mysterious crash in the 1960s in Pennsylvania. Wait, so, hang on. You're saying Nazi, Nazi Germany had a fucking time machine. That's, yeah. th that's just how... This, again, I just and they to, lost. Yes. But this is what they're saying. Just a skill diff, the, the really. The thing is, yeah. right? No, the thing is, right? You look deeper into this, right? People with that Pennsylvania crash, somebody seen a bell coming out of a portal seemingly and crash landing in America. So why America, of all places, when you're in Germany? I don't know, right? But so this is one of the Nazis. Like, I can't tell you much of wacky conspiracy theories, right? Mm. How much come from this? Because I've got another one after this, right? But... That that bell thing gets used for everything. They were in touch with aliens. Have you heard yeah. of the Vril Society? The Vril Society were right. like approved by Hitler and Himmler. Because Himmler was an occultist, right? Himmler was really into the occult kind of stuff. He was super into it, believed it. But the, I think it was the Virilian Society in Germany used to look into all this stuff and seemingly were in touch with aliens. And I'm like getting technology and all that. But obviously they were in touch with aliens would be dead, right? Yeah, well, then about like the only people who get in touch with aliens is America. Exactly, that's where all the UFOs go. Nowhere but else. This is that that the deglock that deglocker one is massive. You watch programs like Ancient Aliens and all that. They will use this as an entire episode explaining it, going into technologies. They've got classified files that say that there was testimonies of people seeing it working and how that. Do you know that tower that I put up there, right? Mm-hmm. It basically tied to that tower, so it would just stay in the middle and not move, as if that would hold up. An anti grav kind of spaceship. Jesus Christ. Everything you know, I've just heard is so absurd that I don't even know how to start tackling this is, it. Yeah. This, is, this is why I'm trying to say the, today is a bit wacky. I'm going to talk about the conventional ones where the pyramids were built by aliens, right? That will do ancient aliens in a bit, right? Very conventional. Right? Mate, my favorite conspiracy theory was that phones came from aliens, and that's why we had such a massive technological like, like boom. Like the 90s, we were like, I think back then we were like hitting uh, like rocks with fucking clubs, weren't we? And then boom, we all had smartphones. Aliens. Oh, Aliens yeah. crashed, right? And <laughs> in, uh, you know, at Roswell, they went through the crash and they're like, Fucking hell, these aliens have smartphones. This is called Zombie Story. Yeah, I want to know what is the COD Zombie Story because. It's what you're telling, what's what you're saying. Yeah, but that is, it must be based on that theory. That thing's been going out for years, Glenn. Like, it, it's it's a, a bit more wild. I, I wouldn't be able to recite it, but I, I went on a, a deep dive with it like two years ago. It, it's. Their storyline's weird. Like, so if you watch stuff about World War II mm -hmm. and a lot of like battles and stuff, well, won and lost by just bad communication and luck and stuff like that. You're telling me the entire time the people who started it had a time machine. Oh, not me. It's preposterous. It's actual preposterous, right? That's what I'm trying to say. There's some wacky theories out here, right? Because the next one could come on be another Nazi one is quite a massive one. Yeah, but they're so... They're, like, so wacky that... They almost can't be conspiracy. They're just dumb, you know? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to present to you today about the weirdest conspiracy theories you've ever heard of me because these are some of the weirdest shit you're ever going to hear, right? So you, everyone I've said to you right now, you, you're like, this is just fucking weird as fuck, like, right? Yeah, but that's what I mean, to the point where I'm like, 
it can't even be considered a conspiracy theory because so there's not sane people who believe that. Like, have you, know. you watched the Ancient Alien program? It's been history, and I never understand why History Channel actually allowed it. Isn't to the be ancient, like, from what I understand, the Ancient Alien stuff is some real unhinged like yeah. theories. Like, I've got coming on to that. And stuff. have you ever watched a full episode? Yes. It. it it has levels and it gets worse. Do you know what I love about it? The pan flute that plays. There's a whole pan flute scene that plays all the time, and that's why I used to watch it's, it. It's just it's in, it's insane. They are insane. I don't understand, but it's funny. You know what's insane, Stan? What's that? Having a time machine, a machine and losing a war. Hmm? Like I said, that's fucking insane. That's a, that's a real skill diff right there. What if, when they gave it to the Americans, the Americans then rewrote history where they lost and there was nothing they could do. What if Germany Maybe, did yeah. win the war and they went and found the de Glocker and then they went back in time to make us win? That's why America entered the war. When maybe back in the day they never entered the war. Well, Crazy. Could be, mate. You never know. What if times changed right now? What if Glenn didn't exist? What if uh, Stan didn't exist? Like, what if times just literally changed as we're speaking? There's actually a film I watched on Netflix recently. It was, uh, had Ryan Reynolds and Mark Ruffalo. And... Um, Ryan Reynolds goes back in time, uh, meets his younger self, blah, blah, blah. But it turns out that um, his father did, it, did invent time travel and his partner, I'm spoiling the film, by the way. <laughs> the, uh, his his um, work partner used that to uh, rewrite history as if she had come up with the technology. Oh my God, I've seen this movie. Now that you see it, I think I've the seen Adam it. The Adam Project, that's it. So uh, it's the next one, Nazi too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mate, you go get the Nazis and uh, like, let me bring it up. <sighs> okay, well we. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, right. Nazi UFO. All right. Then. Okay, let's All go. Right. Nazis and Antarctica. What, what have you got for this one? <laughs> A okay. long-standing and perverse conspiracy that, that of the Nazi UFO base in Antarctica. The story basically goes like this. Nazis went to Antarctica to look for possible sites for submarine bases just before the outbreak of World War II. In their search, they stumbled across ice caps that led to a meeting with a reptilian race of aliens with advanced technology. They built their own base there, and combining alien technology with German science led to the development of a German advanced aircraft, including towards the end of the war, some saucer-based designs that we've got up there, right? And then they lost the war. Yep. Exactly. When Germany lost the war, Hitler and many of his followers, along with Nazi treasurers, fled Germany in two submarines and settled into their base in Antarctica. The Americans supposedly discovered the base, and in 1946-47, Operation High Jump under the command of a- Admiral Richard E. Byrd was sent to destroy the Nazi base. Byrd's naval fleet and aircraft encountered the Nazi UFO and four aircraft and one ship was sunk leading to a retreat by the Americans. The British then supposedly sent the SAS in cleanup of the Nazis under the secret Operation Tabarin, but it too failed. The Americans came back a few years in 1950 and dropped three atomic bombs on the base and finally looked at the Nazis, or so the story goes. There is more to it, but this outlines the basics. So, Operation High, the actual Operation High Jump is this. Admiral Byrd did lead an expedition called Operation High Jump to test military operations in extreme cold and set up an American base on Antarctica, Little America. It was at the height of the Cold War, and Antarctica was a great opportunity to test their men and equipment with the risk of confrontation with the Soviet Union if they had done the same thing in the Arctic. One ship did go to the area where the German base was supposed to be present, present day Queen Maudland, but only landed twice for a day and left. All up, all, all up Operation Agent only lost one aircraft in a blizzard. After they completed their mission, they returned home. Conspiracy theories often claim that they returned early, driven off by Nazis, but the reality was they actually left the US late in the season, had limited time available in Antarctica water due to the onset of winter. So basically, the theory goes is that the Germans set up a super base in Antarctica. And didn't use any of it. And then, yeah, and seemingly and they got wiped the out war. and got wiped out by America. Hang on, but before they got wiped out, they had all this advanced technology. And then lost. Yeah. And they didn't so use the any of it. If you read into it, they're saying they were trying to set up a whole German army there and they were going to do it like a hundred years and expose themselves. Was, that was the theory. A hundred right. years. Like they were going to build up things. Like, I mean, people would just add to it and no, do old things, no right? No dictator, right? Would ever yeah. ever set up something where he can't see? He wouldn't be part of it before it comes to fruition. Mm-hmm. They like they're too egotistical. They're like, oh yeah yeah, I set up this thing where we win the war after I'm dead. No, why? Fuck no. It's why Antarctica? That's so 
so far away. That's where they found the that's race. That's where the reptile yeah. people yeah. are. Yeah. That's where the aliens, they like the cold. Bro. I will say, there's a lot of theories I could have done in Antarctica. Like, people say you can get into Middle Earth and all this. People who have said they've went to Antarctica and, like, what, like an American explorer found, like, a whole jungle and all that in there with, like, dinosaurs. There's so many theories with Antarctica hiding something you would never, Hold on. The, ever the, believe. The, 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 the underground, like, jungle thing. It's a movie as well. I could have sworn I've seen that in X-Men. The Savage, no, the Savage Lands. Lands was not. But that I wasn't Antarctica. One that was, was under it? an Iceland. No, was that Antarctica or North Pole? I don't remember, but that's all I remember from it. And no, I'm no, like, the Savage yeah. Land was that's where they did the experiments with the mutants and yeah. Mister Sinister. I was only, it's only back in my head because they're redoing the thing at the if moment. I'm, I'm trying to be a believer here, as you say. So <laughs> why did they want to wait hundred years? I don't. Mate, it's, it's one of the theories point. so they could rebuild an army and attack. But they already death. had it while they were fighting, right? So why wouldn't they use it? I don't know, mate. But it's the the same Savage theory Land that is in Antarctica. The only one that the <laughs> only one that I can think of could have a trace of truth with maybe Hitler surviving, right, was they all go to Argentina. Because the amount of things you see about Argentina and German populations is actually crazy about how they all speak German and that. But that was established a lot of the big generals fled to Argentina, right? And that, that was that whole thing with hunting Hitler. I they, mean, no, like, did I, they I, ever, I heard that one growing up. Because yeah. like. they like they never recovered Hitler's body, right? No, because yeah, that's right. Seemingly they actually have tested it, right? And this isn't even a conspiracy. Seemingly it was it wasn't a male skill or like male bones, it was that of a female. It was so, only with the dental records, right? Uh, so actually but then again, it wouldn't surprise me if they took Hitler or did something to him. Would you blame would you would you imagine? I can't see the thing is about dictators, I can't imagine Hitler blowing his fucking brains out. That's the only thing about it. I would say I would have thought Hitler was too much for a coward to do that. Wasn't he like he was off his? He was he was nut like drugged up constantly, like, like crazy, yeah. crazy. Yeah. I was seeing the film of, of him. He was like, he, he's basically like tweaking out. I can't I can't remember what it is. There's this literal video of him, and he's like he can't stay still. Mm. Plus, he he started to go so mental and kick off so much that all his generals around him who were like advising him about the war and were one of the reasons why they did so well initially were too scared to question him. Yep. So, like, he was just kind of left to make bad decisions and go loopy himself, like. Plus, obviously, his own country were trying to kill him as well. Yeah. There was m multiple oh, assassination attempts. But th th there's loads of... I, I watched that program at the episode when it was called Hunt, Hunt and Hitler, and it did show you possible ways that under Berlin there was loads of escape tunnels you could have got out of if they wanted to escape to, like, part to, like, the... to the edge of the continent and stuff like that. He had Gurnin and Tweakin during the 1936 Olympics, mm. yeah. Like, have you, have you seen the fucking video of him? It's wild. You know I, that's I, what I, they did I, when they yeah. initially invaded, right? So, like... Oh, yeah, they give... They, they, give they, made, soldiers, they made super, uh, short, super soldiers. What, what did they <laughs> give? Was it meth or cocaine? Meth. Yeah. So, basically, they, normally the way they would do, right, in the day, they push forward, then the night they rest, next day push forward, and that was standard mm. war. Hitler basically gave them all meth, <laughs> and they kept going through the night. And that's why, that's why, like, the initial invasions that Germany did just fucking decimated everything because they nobody, nobody was like, how the hell are they still going? How are they so fast? They're not stopping. And it was because they were on meth, that's which is mental. Like, <laughs> oh, it's just crazy. <laughs> like, that's believable. UFOs, I'm just, not I'm just believable. Saying, I'm giving the most unhinged ones ever, right? These the fair, are... Right, fair. What's the next one? He's ready for next. Ready. We're going on to ancient aliens, Glenn, mate. Okay. We I feel like this, this might be a bit one. more believable. We did, but it was more like we focused on the pyramids, right? But okay. let me bring up, like, where it all comes from. The ancient a alien theory, right? Again, I'll read this and spew it out, right? Because I think this one could have a lot of bases of talking about how pish it is, right? Are those words okay. on the bottom image? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, I'll explain that in a sec, Stan, right? The ancient astronaut for in or ancient aliens referred to a pseudoscience set of beliefs which holds the intelligence of extraterrestrial beings visited the Earth and made contact with humans in antiquity and prehistoric times. Proponents suggest that their contact influenced the development of modern cultures, technologies, religions, and human biology. A common position is the deities from most, if not all, religions are extraterrestrial in origin, and the advanced technologies brought by Earth to. Uh, by two earth but ancient astronauts were interpreted as that as evidence of divine status by early humans eric von daniken right if you ever people watch ancient aliens and the guy goes aliens right 
this Eric von Daniken guy is the one that taught him, right? He's the one that wrote something called Chariots of Fat Chariots of the God, which was a best selling book in the 1968, 1960s, which used evidence from around the world to show ancient why he believed his aliens were interfering, right? But the theory goes on that based on um, for the Sumerian worshipping of a, of these Anunnaki beings that descended from the sky. Is what they think is what literally the Anunnaki are a group of deities of the ancient Sumerians. There was like three other ones, like Babylonians, and the in the early Sumerian writings uh, uh, writings about them, which come from the post Akkadian period. Anunnaki are deities in the pantheon, so basically they are like people that came from the sky. The reason why I bring this up is this because this is this is what a lot of ancient alien theory shows is this here, right? To say that there's that they've got Sumerian tablets, right, that show accurate depictions of our solar system and there was no way they could understand right how the solar system because back in the day we go to like the hundred like thousands of years ago they think we everything revolved around the earth right how but that, accurate are they right how accurate are they they've got well this is the thing right let me explain right so somebody's used this image to show that there's the sun, earth, Neptune, right? But the actual f the theory of what that image is, right, mm. is it's to do with um, it's to do with maybe the the, like the deities they worshipped, not actually to do with the planets, but it does it does show a convincing picture, right? Yeah, but the other thing with stuff like this that happens all the time, right, is there might be loads of other things made of the solar system or mm. something, right? If you've got thousands or tens of thousands of paintings or something, eventually you're going to find one that fits it. And then you just pick the one and you're like, oh, look, this fits. You've got no background. Like, it might have not even been the solar system. And you're like, we, wait, it works. And whenever it, we look back at history, it. We, it, it never seems like they take into account that what if they were just being creative? What if they were just storytelling? You know, the, when they like show like, oh, you know, we met these aliens. This thing, what if that was like a, what if that was like a creative form of media you know but the thing is i can believe right if something came out to me there was more of an advanced civilization earth that died out hundreds of thousands of years ago i could believe that right there could be like traces that maybe they believed in or something or like some i could believe that right because you're on earth right i mean i could believe it because in the middle ages we've fucking regressed yeah <laughs> I, I, isn't there a lot of technology from ancient times that we ended up just losing we just don't know how it works well atlantis is one the atlantis theory one is that i, I know i mean i know i battery. mean legitimately don't just no, bring no, no, atlantis no, no, no. in no, after no, no, i no, bring no, up no no call it the atlantis <laughs> clock stan right Seen that one it's about a clock what <laughs> no listen there's a, the, something called the, the atlantis something clock, which right? i completely forgot what yeah. it's called they had ancient computers as they called it where these like mechanisms could basically act like a computer it's not a physical sorry sorry i think you'll enjoy that comment what? Wait until a thousand years from now and there's conspiracy theories about Star Wars and Harry Potter. Exactly! That looks <laughs> that looks kind of same, like because thing is that that picture could be a depiction looking up and maybe that's Beetlejuice, which is brighter on the sky. Do you know what I mean? They could just be taking what's the brightest things in the sky, right? And going, Oh, look at that sky, and you know. I think it's I think it just gets perpetuated because uh, that Eric von Daniken basically just goes into it because oh, that's it the Ant antikythera whatever that's called that's that's a really interesting piece of tech that they made back in the, in the past when i when i use tech i mean that lightly not like you know like a tv yeah, or something like I'm that i'm telling you it's very the cool. bible was a best-selling fictional story back then <laughs> the end and um you know a little bit of like whoopsie uh, some stuff happened and then bam it's a religion <laughs> but the thing is, people can't even interpret the Bible properly, right? If you're uh, people, there are, there are many because people people don't realize that Jesus is God, and people go, Jesus is the Son of God. And like, no, no, no. The actual Bible doesn't say that, right? Jesus is God, right? But then people interpret it in so many different ways. It's just stupid. So how can you base a religion off something that people can't interpret so different across the entire thing? But a lot the problem a lot of these ancient civilizations and it's quite i find quite eerie right you talk about the bible a lot of them do have the creation story the great floods and stuff like that a lot of them have the same basis even the sumerians i think had texts talking about great floods and that and about arcs and stuff which is a bit weird to me i mean I told you mate it was best seller all over the globe <laughs> back a thousand hundred thousand years ago and they just finding books or something i mean great floods and stuff like that i mean you, you do you do have the simple things of like you know like like ice ages and things like that would do one i think would do an ice age that's that's fun um which would which would not necessarily be a flood but it'd be a lot of water eventually 
The, do you talk about the Middle Ages, right? I may touch on this last one. It's quite. Have you ever seen the conspiracy theory that like the the mid or the Dark Ages or something between like twelve to sixteen hundred never happened and they changed the calendar? Have you seen that? No. Four hundred years of human history didn't happen. It was just the church changed the date and stuff like that. There's some wacky ass conspiracy theories out there, like. But that was one of them, right? And that, that is the that thing we talk about there leads to mm. everything else. Like if you talk about UFOs, yeah. it comes from that one book, The Chariot of the Gods, by that Eric von Daniken, who literally call himself a scientist, believing that aliens basically help to places like is it Gobekli Temple and stuff like. That. Because there's things we just don't understand how the technology did back then, right? Or how they put these massive monolithic structures together back then. Mate, oh, like I'd, pyramids. Like, not I just think, pyramids, but there's other places like um, the, like uh, high up mountains with stones. That, it, it's impossible to move where they were. I, I think aliens exist, right? But if they did, because like it's so astronomically small for life to happen, right? That there's somewhere outside where light can't reach because the universe is mm -hmm. expanding faster. Mm -hmm. They're probably out there. We'll just never meet them. I mean, even if they are in with what we can see with light, whatever we do see, it's many 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 millions of years behind yeah and you know if we did ever meet aliens they'd be so insanely advanced they'd probably delete us and take over the planet well that's it because it's like they always say that if aliens came to us right and we're intelligent would they look at us like how we look at like dogs or like any other animal we would just see them as like beneath us do you I know just, what I mean? no we'd be more like ants to them yeah you know, like, you know how ants yeah, yeah. do like really like uh, amazing maybe colony structures. A, maybe it would be a delicacy. They'd like eat us. Oh, well, mate! Like they do in High on Life, where they just smoke humans. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that? Isn't that? The, even even when you look at that as a conspiracy theory, basically the what the worst one I seen it in is like a Joe Rogan podcast talking about that basically we are used as a farm bait aliens to come and use as a delicacy. It's quite scary that that uh, if you go to all abductions and that is because they're stealing us to. And there's like a, a, and what about the a abduction, government but, agreement and like all most, this? Most, if not all, abduction stories end with them coming back. Yeah, after they've had a bit of a fingering up the ass. Yeah, so like, but mate, that, mate, is that the delicacy? If we were getting used, right, as like a delicacy, one, they would breed intelligence out of us. That'd be the first mm. thing to go. We'd be docile, little, brainless, unable to talk creatures. We'd be in battery farms. <laughs> So the big thing with this ancient Maybe alien theory, free, free range, the, yeah. The big thing, the big thing, we're too smart ancient, for free range. Happy big, humans make good smoking or something like that. No, because like if that. we, were, like, if we were free range, right, they wouldn't let us have the free will to fucking fill ourselves mm. with mackies. <laughs> the thing is, right, one of the big proponents of the the ancient alien theory, right, is that the Anunnaki is another planet in our solar system. Joe, when you go through that whole thing, we talk about Planet X and the Biru. And there was all that thing that's like, oh, there's a planet that NASA can see. NASA had said that there could be another planet or a thing that's quite big we can't see, right? Yeah, because it's been affecting other gravitational pulls yeah, of, so of some it's, of the it's planets. Not, it's not but... got the same kind of rotation around the sun. This goes in like a, a really obscure thing. So, oh, that's where they are. Yeah, that exactly. Right? This, <laughs> this, this thing, because what they try to say is the Anunnaki created us to mine gold for them. As if... Like this ancient civilization, well, mate. I'm not, you, you might think I'm looking crazy, for. right? But that is what fucking they believe. Gold. They interbred. They they, <laughs> they made the humans. It's fucking gold. Yeah, for gold. Yeah. How uh, many mate. humans mine gold? I don't know, mate. I'm just trying to tell <laughs> you, right? I would have I'm believed trying you, to tell right? you. I would have believed you if they said they were growing humans for yep. literal the the carbon matter that we're made yep. of. Maybe. Not gold. This is what I'm trying to say. Like people have brought in their right asteroids. You can they, if you were able to traverse any kind of cosmos, right? You would just be bringing in asteroids to get all the precious metals in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Because asteroid can be literal what full of gold, platinum, all the precious metals on Earth, right? But this is what I'm trying to say. How wacky these theories are. People genuinely believe they made us a slave race, right? To mine gold from them. Just, let's just say they did make us to mine gold, right? Mm, they right. would machines to basically do that, right? They could literally, if you're able to traverse the cosmos, right, you could basically drill into Earth and just pull out all the shit, couldn't you, if you really wanted to? It, it's it's a very long, long time goal, this, mm. of theirs. It's why That's they say not really lot, going well. Yeah. It's a lot of the reason why they say a lot of these ancient civilizations worship gold or it's used a lot in a lot of their... It's because it's shiny. They were like, ooh, shiny. Well, that that sounds very much like an like a like an us idea. It's shiny, so they must worship it. 
Right, we're staying on aliens for the next one, right? Hi, here we go. Then. I've got two more, right? Do you know what? I'll say in aliens, right? But you're gonna love the next. One. They're gonna love the last I one. I didn't really okay? hear. The I last promise one. you, you're gonna love the last one because okay. I fucking love it, right? Okay. We're talking about <laughs> um, the Galactic Federation, right? And the Galactic Federation is supposed. Uh, this isn't before people say this isn't Star Trek, but sounds well, like right? Star Trek. But this is right. Is a, a supposed alliance of extraterrestrial civilization in the Milky Way. The Intergalactic Council was allegedly revealed through a well-known pe people in their network. It was through channeling that Niddle revealed his awareness. The idea that such a federation would exist is popped within UFO religions and certain New Age movements. The federation also appears in many science fiction stories. Former Israeli space security chief, right, says extraterrestrial aliens exist and Trump knows about it. A galactic oh, federation course. has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are. I feel like S head said cooperation agreements have been signed between species, including an underground base in the depths of Mars, where there are American astronauts and alien representatives. There is an agreement between it's the US effect. government and the aliens. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here, he said. S had added that President Donald Trump was aware of the extraterrestrial existence and has been on the verge of revealing information, but was asked not to in order to prevent mass hysteria, right? But this has been, this was, this has not just been these big government people that come out with this, right? And before I don't believe this, right? Mm. A Canadian defence minister back in the 1960s who accused world powers of concealing the presence of aliens on Earth is calling on the government to release what he believes is hidden information about UFOs. Paul Haler, who served as Canadian's defence minister in the 60s, was amongst people who urged the government to publicly disclose any such documents, right? But the problem they have with this, right, it's a little bit, basically Star Trek, right? The problem is you're having these massive people who used to work in like space defense coming out saying this, and it perpetuates the idea that there's somehow like a just do it for a laugh, don't they? There's no way Trump knows. Yeah, you said it out loud. Yeah, you're like lost, if, you're if Trump knows, he's telling it's everyone. The fact that, that man would not you stop name tweeting. Drop Trump in a conspiracy theory about the all knowing, and you're like, you're gonna love the next conspiracy theory. Uh, okay. Now you so, you're lo lost any credibility. The thing yeah, is, Rob, man, right, in Mass Effect. There, there are aliens out there, and Earth gets introduced to them once they're able to traverse mm -hmm. the Mass Effect relay. So the the moment, because it mentions that like the uh, they're waiting for them to master space technology. Mm -hmm. It's Mass Effect. <laughs> they've taken the story of Mass Effect and wiggled so it. So that 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 feed has been on since the nineteen sixties, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and I do, I do actually believe a lot of computer games are probably based on a lot of these weird conspiracy theories, right? They're probably yeah, based it's probably on funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. but. Basically, what they're trying to say is there's a whole galactic federation of planets. Basically, I hope th there is because that is what they try to sit and say. A lot of these conspiracy theories will tag onto things like Star Trek, saying that's the government trying to tell you that this actually exists in a, a well, weird, via Star weird, Trek. Yeah, exactly. Instead of just telling yeah. you, they're yeah. like, "Fuck exactly. it, production going, boys." Same with Stargate and stuff like that. It would be a did you, did you ever watch Stargate? Didn't you ever watch Stargate? Oh, mate, the, like, I've seen wait, it. Wait for us to get the seventh Chevron. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be great. Mate, do you know how the bit in Stargate where they've got a film crew that goes through with them documenting what they're film. doing? <laughs> and they're trying to see what they're doing is documenting these people's things so Stargate's real and they're just doing it through a programme and that's what happened. But uh, this is what I mean. These are all fucking wacky conspiracy theories. Don't just take them with... A literal fucking pinch of salt, right? Mm. A whole yeah. bag of it. Yeah, hun yeah. Did you ever watch Farscape? I didn't like Farscape, mate. No? No, I didn't like the guy in it. How come? I don't know. I thought he was a shit actor. I just didn't like him. Fair. Um, right, Keith, we're going to fucking love this one. Do you have another picture? Or Let's right? go. Yeah, you got another fucking picture, boys. You may have seen this in Tassi and TikTok. Is this Lord of the Rings one? Do you know the guy at the top is? No, I can't see that far. Who's that? Baron Trump, right? Right, yeah. And Nikola Tesla, right? I see he's going, boys, I'm about to take you on a ride <laughs> that you'll never believe here, right? Okay. okay. All are right. They okay, is this the, are they going to say, like, Trump is related to Nikola no, Tesla? No. No? Right. Are they saying he is Nikola Tesla? No. On January 9th, 1943, I two days know. after Nikola Tesla died, destitute in New York City Hotel, the FBI called MIT professor and esteemed electrician engineer John G. Trump to determine if any of the belongings in the event of a state, which included a perpetrated weapon of mass destruction, Tesla called the Defray, would be dangerous if it fell into the enemy hands. Theory goes that Donald, that this, this John G. Trump found time travel technology in Tesla's workshop, right? 
and it gets perpetuated that there's a book released in the ninth in the sort of the 1800s it's called baron trump's marvelous underground adventure the book is about a young boy named baron trump who finds a portal and time travels donald trump's son is named baron trump not only that in the book baron is guided to be a man named don donald trump but wait, there's more. In another book by the same author, it's about an unlikely presidential candidate that won the election. Not only that, but the book talks about the Fifth Avenue Hotel, the address, a book in what, the same address where the Trump Towers currently stand. So basically, what they're trying to say is, John G. Trump got based on the got time travel technology and his whole family time travel to manipulate events and the time stream to make sure the Trumps come out on top. But the book, but they try to have come up yeah. the top. That guy is literally getting sued of all his fucking money. If you ask him that, do you think he believes that? Like he probably thinks he's still on top, right? What Trump? He probably still thinks he's on top, right? I mean, the fact that he become president I, is still mental, right? Yeah. And let's be honest, when he announced it, he got clowned, mm. and then he won. Like that is a pretty big yeah. achievement. They but got it, time travel but, and still lost. But he lost the second term. Which he very much makes out that he wants to win, and the fact yeah. he's running again. So surely they would have done it. So they would have won that term too. Yeah, I, I, it got perpetuated. The fact this book was found from the eighteen hundreds that basically outlines somebody called Baron Trump and tells all the key places. You know what it's like with the Simpsons predictions, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Something will end up predicting something. Have you not... confirmed that this actual book exists? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's, it's literally it's called seemingly. You read it. It's called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Adventures. I would and say, did I'll be it honest definitely with you. I'll be honest with you. Back I watched a TikTok and I watched. I looked through newspaper articles about them confirming that the book did exist. Did I verify it? No, not even in half an hour putting it together. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's a bit of a fucking fantasy land, isn't it? Oi, oi, oi. They were just some of the wackiest conspiracy theories I thought so, I'd bring up. The Trumps have time travel to come out on top, right? Yep. Nazis. And Trump is losing his lawsuit so bad that he might have to sell assets and they're winning. You know what? Maybe time travel doesn't work how we think it does. Anything to do with time travel sucks. It just it validates everything, doesn't it? It's not fun. It might exist somewhere. It's because it, like, it never makes sense, does it? Yeah, like, it's just not fun. Like Even when we... I hit, I'm not a fan of time like travel if time movies. Travel, if, if time travel existed, right, mm -hmm. then like you you wouldn't have the whole story. You would just be living in the, the new outcome. So like, I mean, if, if it works like that. If we're in the middle of like some time travel change, everything we do right now doesn't matter because it's mm -hmm. about to go like that. There's a whole. I do. Is I do think uh, they, they talk thing? about they talk about if time travel did exist. I mean, the other one I did was going to bring on, but time travel I thought it was quite funny. Was you ever heard the John Teeter one? No. A, it, it, it basically is Terminator, right? Where he comes back to get an MIT chip from the 1980s because IBM computers have taken control or something in the, the 2000s. I tell a lie. What? I do love the first two Terminator films, and they heavily rely on time travel. <laughs> yeah. They were good. They were good, mate. They were good fucking films, like, you know? I always feel like we should do that in the SR Discord, like, you know, make a Patreon up and go every month we'll watch Terminator or something in the SR Discord. We'll watch Terminator every month. Yeah, yeah mate. We could watch, mate. We could make fan month. fiction Terminator, mate. Like, we can stream video to the Discord. It's true. So, we just we can just stream films, right? We could do a movie night. No, but that, that's it. I mean, mm. if anyone's got any wacky conspiracy, you to whack in here, throw it away. But they were, there's loads more I like, could bring in. Like I said, these ones are like too wacky yeah. to the point where you just roll your eyes. Oh, you tell me a conspiracy theory you think would be Mate, quite a good one, Glenn. They're fucking I funny. I'll have a look. I'll, I'll, we'll do it I'll in a couple what, of weeks. Next month, we'll Glenn will do one where he'll get his best conspiracy theories. Yeah, Hot Switch, mate, it's just a bit too late. We've got to get ready for the next um, stream, mate. Or I would take people's suggestions we'll on it. We'll do another one next month. Or maybe the month after, but I'll have a look. My, my idea would be this, right? So I'll say this on stream, like, do like a series. Like, so, do you know a lot of podcasts that I see will do series on different topics every month? I feel like that's what we need to... <laughs> you Sorry, want our niche to I just read the comments. Uh, what? Um, probably. Look up Sorry. Time Cube. I'll didn't have a look. You, didn't you see Titty in the first Terminator movie? Probably did. Probably. Probably. There was loads of it in like 80s movies, wasn't there? There was a lot of fucking titties back then, mate. Okay, but if you're streaming it 
if you're doing a, a movie night on a on Discord, then a, then a titty don't matter. Yeah. The question to you guys in here, right? If we set up like a Patreon, oh, right, for the Salt Raiders and we did movie nights, would people actually be interested sitting there talking to SR guys watching a movie? Like, Ties to yeah. Stan's comments, a bit, a bit out there, different. So you know the age ratings in the UK? Mm. Like, you know, 15, yeah. 18 for movies. So the way they actually set what a 15 is, what an 18 is, is they basically do surveys of people. Mm. So it's not necessarily like... They try to represent what the general consensus is of people at the time, right? So this is the first time in years where they're going to restrict nudity and like sex more in 15 films because what they're saying is is millennial parents are basically like people our age are like more conservative about that stuff than their parents. So like parents are becoming more like protective, which I thought was quite interesting because you'd think it'd be the other way where people oh. care less now. But apparently what they're seeing is parents now care more about protecting their kids from seeing that sort of stuff, which I thought was quite interesting. If that makes sense. Well, could we, we, our generation did get more exposed to a lot of stuff like porn and that, right? Where we, where it was more like it's on hand compared to when our parents probably grew up, when it was like a wank mag, right? Yeah, I guess, yeah, the pa pa our parents wouldn't have known, whereas I guess people our age know, so they're like, oh, actually, it's really bad out there. Maybe restrictive or I just thought that was quite interesting that that's the kit that's the way people are going. But they have the internet anyway, so they probably find more on the internet than uh, going to the cinema, right? What's that mean? But I hope you enjoyed those wacky conspiracies. Glenn sure enjoyed them. Give us a thumb up, Glenn, mate. Yeah. Glenn loved them. Glenn, give us a thumbs up, mate. They were they were a bit too Glenn, like did it open your mind at all today about the weird and wonderful, mate? Nah. nah, they just they were too, like I said, I said all the way through it. They're just too stupid. That like it's hard to kind of have any sort of conversation or stretch well, your mind you know a bit. I hope, you know, right? I hope the Antarctic Nazis drop up a bomb and you go in there. <laughs> <Just don't laughs> yeah, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rob. I mean, be like, yeah, actually, we do exist, Glenn. So, <laughs> like, what? Hang on, what was the first one? Um, Ke was chemtrails the first one? Yeah, chemtrails. Chem like chemtrails was the most, the more like, the most sensible one out of them all. Because you, you could see the re the, re the reason it probably was because there was the least amount of bullshit to go into. Yeah. Whereas the other ones had deeper stories they get into, and you're like, nah. The chemtrails had like 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 this much. Everything the ancient, else had like the ancient alien when you could go into a massive just a, a stream on its own, right? Talking about all the shit that people come up with aliens, right? That's the thing. Yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll do another sake. one and then we'll find out. We'll find some more less crazy ones <laughs> that we can actually discuss. And we'll go from there. But, Freddy, that's actually a fucking good... <laughs> can you imagine having a movie night and people can just do stuff like fast forward the movie, put it in slow-mo and stuff like that? Flip the screen, movie. monochrome. Oh my God, that's such a good idea. Turn volume up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go play. We're playing Resident Evil, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah, know which yeah. one, but we're gonna play Resident Evil on the SR channel. So, if you're on Twitch, we'll be live back in a bit. And if you're on YouTube and you want to watch, you have to go over to the SR channel on YouTube. So we shall hopefully see you in a bit. We soon. We're just gonna get a drink, probably whatever. We'll be on after that. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye, everyone. It Bye, don't matter because we'll just time travel. You know, it's all good. For fuck's sake, guys.